From Vikings to Normans. I've already explained in previous videos profound correlations which can be gathered from breaking down the Piscean Age into another twelve houses of the Zodiac, and from these divisions of time certain aspects of our history can be identified to run in line concurring with various signs and ruling planets of the Zodiac. I've presented the case that the age of the Vikings runs in parallel with the sign of Virgo, offering an alternative explanation as to the origins of the name Vikings to be kings of Virgo as opposed to just being simple Vic dwellers. What is equally remarkable is that the historical Dark Ages begin as we leave Virgo where the sun sets on our zodiac chart and enters into the sign of Libra. Libra is the sign of the setting sun. This was a period in Europe that saw the emergence and expansion of the Normans, descendants of Norsemen Vikings and settled in the region of northern France. This newly evolving Norman culture was a blend of Old Norse language, Norse religious tradition, mixed with local Catholic women who spoke a Gallo-Romance language. This new Norman identity began to emerge in the first half of the 10th century. It spread throughout Europe, England, and what was to become the Crusader states of the Near East. The Normans were credited not only for their military achievements, but for various judicial and political arrangements which they introduced throughout their conquered territories. After the famous Norman conquest of England in 1066, they expanded their influence with the help of Normans from Italy, France and England who later served as avid fighters during the Crusader years. The result of Norman expansion helped to create a new balance of power throughout Europe and the Middle East. I would suggest that it is no mere coincidence that the letters N and O are associated with the sign of Libra in our zodiacal alphabet. 